Okay, working with variables and expressions today. I give you 24 more cookies than Haley made. Yep. So with expressions, remember you can't solve them because they're not telling you what they're equal to. Okay, so like we just did in board math, we don't have an equal to on it. So how am I going to write 24 more cookies than Haley made? 24, 24 plus, plus what? X. 24 plus X. Do I need to do anything else? No. no, because I don't know how many she made. That would be my answer. It's just 24 plus X. Yeah. Not much. This is all review. Four less than three times. The number, yep, like I said, it's all review. The number of students. So four less than three times the number of students. So four minus S? Good. 3n minus 4. Remember those words less than? Whatever comes after it has to go first. So if it's less. If it's less than, whatever comes directly after it, so it says 3 times, that goes first. Okay? Need to see any more examples like those? No. Okay, next section is going to tell you to evaluate. So let's say A is equal to negative 5, B is equal to 4. And I want to know A minus B plus 2 times negative 1. Uh -huh. Where it would tell us like 3n minus 4, would we have to reverse it and put it into the community? Um, not today. We've done some like that, but we won't be working on those today. Hey, so what do I need to do first? Negative 5. Okay, right, so and keep, keep my parentheses. My a is negative 5. Minus 4 plus 2 times negative 1. Keep everything the same. Will this apply to keep flip change? This will apply to keep flip change. And we also have to rule, remember our rules for order of operations. So order of operations, what do I do first? Parentheses. Parentheses. So my parentheses keep flip change. Negative 9 plus 2 times negative 1. What comes after parentheses? Okay, exponents. Exponents. Do I have any exponents? No. No. Then what comes next? Multiplication or division, whichever comes first. So what do I have? Two times negative one. Two times negative one gives me negative nine plus negative two. Then addition or subtraction, so I get negative eleven. We took 2 times negative 1 and got negative 2. Times comes before adding. So we're going to do the times first. What about 3m plus 
the absolute value of n over 2n plus 8. And m is equal to 9, n is equal to negative 5. So when I have a number and a letter right next to each other, what does that mean? Multiply. Multiply. So I'm taking 3 times 9 plus the absolute value of negative 5 over 2 times negative 5 plus 8. So what's absolute value mean? But what does it mean? Sophia? <coughs> we take away the negative. But remember, absolute value is talking about the distance from zero. So whenever you're looking at a number, when it's absolute value of it, the distance, you can't have a negative distance. You can't tell me I walked negative five feet. Okay? But it wouldn't be negative because you're still walking a positive distance. Okay? So, three times nine... 27. 27 plus the absolute value of negative 5, 5, five. five over 2 times negative 5, uh, ten. negative 10, ten plus 8, right? Okay. So 27 plus 5 is 32, 32 over negative 10 plus 8, mm -hmm. negative, two. negative 2, so 32 divided by negative 2. Negative 16. So in case you forget, absolute value is always positive. Hey, your assignment for today is page 273, numbers 8 through 19.